Well, back here on the show. Hello, Tom. What's up, everybody? Hi, Brian. How you doing? Pretty terrible, honestly. I'm like I'm like Biggie. <laughs> ready to die. Wow. After well, the past 40 minutes. But hey, I'm sure the audio listeners don't want to listen to me to lament about technological problems, some first world problems. Yeah, because I've been lamenting about it for 45 minutes now. Well, the show's only 40 minutes old, so that's incorrect. But let's get down to business. What are we talking here? What's, well, what do you want to talk about? Well, we've we've talked about uh, the first two matches of Elimination Chamber. What do you think of the Women's Chamber and the tag match? Then we'll move on to the next segment. I thought that the Women's Chamber was good. It just went on too long. Obviously, Tiffany Stratton was the star of that match to the Australian crowd. They were booing any time that anyone would get any offense on her. So she came off about as well as you could have, despite the fact that that's not the role she is supposed to be in. She's clearly designed to be a heel, but she has a very, very impressive offense. And the crowd took a big time liking to her. And I mean, she's, she's definitely going to be a star for them in the future. I really like the tag match and on SmackDown, I thought that the tag match that the new catch Republic, and I hate saying that name, what was wrong? New catch Republic on no planet is better than British strong style. Well, that's true. The name they had previously was better than the one they currently Plus, have. Plus, we already have a catch crew. Exactly. How many catchers do we need? Exactly. But I thought that their match both here and on Friday night against J.D. McDonough and Dom were both very good. And to the new catch Republic's credit, Brian, they've switched up the delivery of that double Tyler driver, if you've noticed. And yeah. they now hold the guy up a little bit more and then – deliver it and plant them down so good uh good switch up there yeah, good change i good still don't like the move i still don't like the move don't think it looks impressive but everything else does it's like if everything you do looks impressive but then you have a non-impressive finish you know what i'm saying like i'll give you an example which is a little bit less uh but that uh that sammy you see the sammy Guevara match with hobbs yes dude hobbs gives this dude a sidewalk slam off the apron through two exploding tables onto the floor, okay? That's where the announcers go, follow us in picture in picture. And then we come back and they're still wrestling. And then later, he stands on the middle rope and he just gives him a world's strongest slam through one table and he pins him. And I'm like, the other one looked 500 times better than what you actually did for a finish. So it should have been the other way around. He should have gave him that spine buster off the apron, threw two tables onto the floor, threw him in the ring, and pinned him. That's what should have been the finish, because that was more impressive. And it was, uh, yeah, don't like this finish that, uh... Anyway, men's elimination chamber, Drew McIntyre, L.A. Knight, Kevin Owens, Logan Paul, and Randy Orton. And Drew McIntyre won. He is going to WrestleMania. He will be facing Seth Rollins for the title. And uh, the story is we set up some other matches for Mania, including Logan Paul and Randy Orton, a match I would have not expected to see in my lifetime. No. But, Odd man, we're going to do it. Where's Kevin Owens fit in? I would have thought we both thought he was headed towards a showdown at WrestleMania with Logan Paul. And if you look throughout Logan Paul's career, they've been intertwined the whole time, he and Kevin Owens. Well, Ever since- you could do a three-way. You could, but it appeared very strong in the direction of Logan Paul versus Randy Orton after that KO punch with the brass knuckles. I thought that match was very good. I needed the finish. I thought this was the best match on the show. Also, we did have uh, AJ Styles flying from America to Australia just so he could do a run-in and hit a bloke with a chair. That's what happened. So yeah, in storyline, I love it. Yeah. What I mean, that's like what a an angry man. Hater move. He was. Is it eighteen hours? How far is it from uh, East Coast? I mean, to you've Perth, got to get uh, probably fourteen from Las Vegas. So yeah, from Atlanta. Good lord, not, man! Not a short flight. Come on, you need to work on your anger. 
But yeah, I thought this was the best match on the show. And uh, Drew got the win. Drew versus Seth. And then uh, the question is, is that when we get that cash in? Is Damian Priest cashing in on Drew McIntyre? Guess we'll find out. And then Rhea Ripley and Nia Jax for the WWE Women's title. And, you know, I always get accused. I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not. I always get accused of grading WWE on a curve. Okay? Me. Well, I thought Nia Jax was atrocious in this match. And I got to wake up today and I got to hear, oh, well, you know, John and Way and Vinny and they all thought she did great. <laughs> like, are they grading on a curve? What match were they watching? Nia? I thought she was terrible in this match. Just sandbagging, just standing there, not taking good bumps. Selling was horrible in this match. Yeah, she did all right when she was beating up Rhea because she had to beat her up. That's not hard. But, like, what's the other half of your job? Well, your other half is to make the baby face, who in this case was Rhea Ripley in Perth, Australia, look good, Okay. In what way did she help Rhea look good in any spot at any moment during this match? She didn't. Rhea looked great because of Rhea. Everything that she did was great, but she got no help. No help whatsoever. And I hate to pull the card, but damn it, I've been in the ring, okay? I watched this match, and God help me, I would have been furious. I would have been furious. What did you think of this main event? I didn't think it was an all-time bad performance like you seem to. How about you guys watch the match again and watch Nia instead of Rhea? It was fine. But, I mean, if you're looking for a big-time main event on a huge show with, what, 60,000 people in attendance in a market in which, you know, you should be trying to put on the best performance and best show you can, then, you know, maybe this was not the main event for you, but having a triumphant baby face, Rhea Ripley stand there tall at the end with her championship, that was that was the goal. That was the point. Well, I do agree with you. And I think I this think should I'm... have been the main event. I'm happy this was the main event. Rhea Ripley should have headlined the show, but she should have headlined the show with a better opponent. I don't think that it was the worst, one of the worst matches I've ever seen. It was just it was just a match. I didn't say it was the worst match. I said it was the worst Nia performance in a big match. That's what I said. I thought oh. she was terrible in the match. How are these goal these goalposts are moving in and out here? No. I did not at one at any point did I say this was a bad match. I've got the report right here. I gave it two and a quarter stars. I said Nia was terrible in the match. She was. Rhea did a great job. The match, it got over what it was supposed to get over, which was Rhea. The fans went nuts at the end. So what do you want? It wasn't a bad match. I mean, it wasn't a good match. But uh, are you just going to argue this just because you love making me angry? You love just needling me and poking me? Is that what it is? All right. I'm sure I'll have to hear from Vinny tomorrow. Yeah, okay, whatever. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.